Today, the federal judge in the abortion pill lawsuit filed here in Amarillo released his ruling. Thanks for joining us tonight. That breaking news is first on Fox tonight. The ruling was filed earlier tonight. Judge Matthew Kaczmarek ruled the Food and Drug Administration's authorization of the abortion pill mifeprestone was improper more than 20 years after it was first approved. Judge Kaczmarek will suspend the pill's FDA approval, but Kaczmarek has delayed his ruling for seven days to allow for the federal government to seek emergency relief from the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. Illegally approving dangerous chemical abortion drugs, the FDA put women and girls in harm's way. And it's high time the agency is held accountable for its reckless actions. Pregnancy is not an illness, and chemical abortion drugs don't provide a therapeutic benefit. They can pose serious and life-threatening complications to the mother, in addition to ending a baby's life. The FDA never had the authority to approve these hazardous drugs and remove important safeguards. This is a significant victory for the doctors and medical associations we represent, and more importantly, the health and safety of women and girls. In response to the ruling, the Women's March released the following statement. It reads in part, this isn't a cause, a case about science. The science is settled. Mifeprestone has been used, studied, and found to be completely safe and effective for abortion for more than 20 years. It is used by the majority of women who seek abortions as a private and safe option. It is for these exact reasons because it gives women the ability to make decisions for themselves and their families that the political right has been so intent on banning it. What this case is really about is how the ADF and their allies manipulated our judicial system to impose a radical anti-woman political agenda. They stacked the courts with radical politicians cloaked in robes and used forum shopping to find a fast track to a Supreme Court, completely captured by their agenda. Today, another federal judge in Washington state ordered U.S. authorities not to make any changes that would restrict access to a press stone in 17 Democratic-led states. In the District of Columbia, that sued over the issue, ultimately countering today's ruling by Judge Kasmerick. We will follow developments regarding both rulings. To read Kasmerick's full opinion and for more details on the other ruling, go to myhighplains.com.